sometimes supervised, sometimes unsupervised, but this is a very classic machine learning problem. The idea is there is something known as normal behavior, right? But then some of the data points stand out. These are called anomalies or outliers. So outliers are basically a very small percentage of the data points which do not follow the norm of normal data which other 99% of the data would behave like. So this, for example, take here, O1, O2, O3 are examples of outliers when compared to other data which are close to each other. So here, anomaly detection becomes an important element. For example, fraud detection. Example, I'll say, suppose you've done millions of log accesses, you look at of your credit card, right? The credit card company is monitoring all the access. But suddenly you find that there is a transaction from Kyrgyzstan on your credit card. Do you expect that to happen on your Indian credit card? Unless you explicitly gone there for a, some oil pipeline, uh, some project or something, right? No, they have a lot of oil. So what happens here? You're trying to say there is 99% of this data is normal. You do normal Indian transactions, Indian cities. Here is something which is out of the blue. So they start flagging. They try to contact you. They may even block your card. Why? Because they've done an anomaly detection. They run a machine learning algorithm here. So what does it mean? This means that we're talking about a machine learning problem which is very commonly required in our daily life. We have to find out in several scenarios where there is a need for identifying abnormal data from normal data. So this is again not necessarily unsupervised or supervised. Sometimes it's unsupervised. Most of the time it's unsupervised because you get raw data and try to find out any exception. Sometimes it may be supervised also, but I'm not going there, but let's for sake of one thing, let's call it anomaly detection by itself. 